Hey folks, Sylvius here. I'm back on the leaf. Ooh, hey, look, my distance went up to 91. Look at that, 91. Crazy. Yeah, anyway, though, so here I am back on leaf. Um, I haven't made any leaf videos in a while, and uh, that was because I did not want to play leaf <coughs> during the uh, boosted EXP time. The uh, idea here is that... Um, did I use that? All right, I'm going to sell that time ring. The idea here is that, like, Leaf is supposed to be how I would play Paladin naturally, and I wouldn't naturally expect boosted EXP time. So, there we go. So yeah, I couldn't play uh, him at all during that time period. Time ring. <laughs> Those sell offers. Those sell offers. Uh, I'm going to go with a more realistic sell offer and go with 800. <laughs> Bam. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go deposit my money and then withdraw some to go buy uh, additional spears. And we're going to go back and uh, kill some mammoths and badgers. Hopefully, I think I can maybe finish that task. Yeah. I'm a little laggy right now. Um, before I do anything, let's take a look at the... Uh, eh. I'm half, I'm a third of the way done on both of them. I might not actually be able to finish this, whatever. Alright, and then we'll withdraw, I don't know, 500 sounds good. Whatever, we'll just roll with it. <sighs> so yeah, I'm a little laggy right now. Uh, I think majority of that is due to the fact that I'm uploading a video on YouTube right now. Uh, just on a, like, interesting factoid note, uh, how close am I? 86% of the way done. Um, yeah, so just as a little, like, interesting factoid, uh, <laughs> I made a video, I guess it's the, no, it's not the last video, the last video here is the Red Fence in, uh, Didio. Prior to that, though, it was the Muggy Plane. So the Muggy Plane video was about an hour long, a little bit under. And the Red Fens video was also about that length. I can double check real quick. Not that it's really relevant, but let's see. Uh, the DDO video was 46 minutes and the Muggy Plains video was 56 minutes. The Tibia video for the Muggy Plains clocked in at 5.2 gigabytes and the uh, Red Fens clocked in at 7.7 .7 gigs. So, <laughs> uh, those are some massive uh, uploads to get up onto my computer or get up on the YouTube. All right, where are there we go? Royal Spears. All right, still have some money left over. It's whatevs. It's whatevs. <clears throat> so yeah, that was that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm back on Leaf. We actually enjoy my Leaf videos. I think. Because when I do the other videos, I don't, like, ramble as much as I do with the Leaf videos. I mean, I did a little bit in the Muggy Plane just because it, you know, took forever. Uh, but I try to keep what I talk about, like, limited to the actual content that we're, you know, facing at any given point. But with the Leaf videos, I can ramble a little bit. So, I do have a topic of rambling. I actually have another topic of rambling that I can't ramble about right now due to various reasons. Uh, so I guess you guys can look forward to that in the future. Uh, but anyway, what I wanted to say was, and I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, uh, about a week ago, I was like, you know what? Because uh, about a week ago, I'm pretty pretty sure I've mentioned parts of this now that I think about it. You know, Tibia did the whole thing where they revealed that they're going to start, you know, allowing you to get blessings in the store and all that jazz, right? So uh, I had like a proposal for um, giving coins out, like, as a monthly amount to, uh, like, an allowance to premium players. And also I had an idea for making some monsters drop them. And uh, generally speaking, the um, response I got was not positive. Let's go with that, okay? <clears throat> uh, nobody really liked my idea. Um... But most of their reasoning was kind of along the lines of, well, I don't like tibia coins, so an idea that involves tibia coins is obviously trash. Um, you know, if you don't like tibia coins, that's cool and all, but, like, 
they're kind of here to stay. So you kind of got to get over it. And, you know, you can't just shoot down every proposal, though, that um, involves tibia coins. So anyway, though, you know, after a whole bunch of people were like, no, that's trash. I was like, oh, all right, you know. Because <clears throat> I thought my idea was actually a pretty good idea. I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, maybe I should look at some other people's proposals to see kind of like what I'm getting into. Maybe, um, you know, maybe just like legitimately my proposal was pretty stupid. So like I looked at some of the other proposals and um, I don't know if my proposal was stupid, but a lot of the proposals I looked at were mind-bogglingly stupid. Um, there's one dude who wants, uh, Tibia to just have a flat price. I can't, I honestly can't remember if I said this in the video or not, but whatever. I, at the risk of repeating myself, I'm just going to keep talking. So the one dude wants, um, the price of Tibia to just be a flat, like, number, and he wants that number to be the same for all countries. So, like, I think Tibia is currently about, like, nine euros for a month. Um... And I honestly can't remember with exchange rates. And I also know that I pay like a foreign transaction fee when I do pay for it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure I pay more than that in US dollars. It's whatever though. I mean, like I don't really care. Anyway though, the point is this dude wants it to be like 10 euros, 10 US dollars, 10 yen, <laughs> 10 whatever. Mostly though, he didn't say it for all countries. He just wants it for Brazilian. Uh, I think their currency is called reals. He wants it for Brazilian reals because the uh, like the Brazilian economy is in the crapper, and um, it ends up being like forty Brazilian reals because I think it's like the the what I checked, the exchange rate between reals and U.S. dollars was about like three point nine seven reals equaled one U.S. dollar. So he's like, oh man, I gotta spend so much money on this tibia crap because you know our economy is in the crap. It should just be like. 10 reals because it's 10 US dollars. Uh, <clears throat> so, I mean, like, basically that guy has zero understanding of how, like, economics work uh, on the local scale, and he also apparently has zero understanding of how, like, international, like, economics works. So, I mean, like, you know, <clears throat> I just sort of wrote that dude off as an idiot. Because, <clears throat> you know, he is. <laughs> Guy's an idiot. Sorry. I got nothing. Dude's just a moron. Um, so, like, I gave him, though, the benefit of the doubt. So then I found, like, a post about, um... Actually, let me... I got the, the proposal thing up right now. Um, there's a dude that wants to make an item that can be sold in Edron for, uh... He wants to, it's to be sold for 1k, and it'll just give you an hour of boosted stamina time. Uh... Which I think is, like, pretty idiotic. I could sort of see the benefit of that, but I think for the most part it's, like, pretty idiotic. Uh, let's see, hold on, what else were some interesting ones? Do, 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 do. Price of being Brazilian, there's the guy there, he's got 98 comments of people talking about it. Most of them telling about how Brazilian people suck. I did actually comment and try to explain, like, economic theory to that dude, because he obviously didn't get it. And because everybody else was just being like, well, don't be a Brazilian, lol. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and he also, he said something along the lines of, like, Brazilian people, like, save Tibia or something like that, and then everybody else was like, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Um, I'm not going to get into that, because, like, I don't really care one way or the other, but still. Um, let's see here. Still trying to find uh, some of the idiotic things I saw. <clears throat> oh, boy. Some of them, though, like, to be fair, were, like, pretty good. Like, there's one for making the Paladin heals a little bit more viable. Apparently, according to what the guy posted, I don't know if it's true. He figured out the... Actually, let me pull it up real quick, because it's kind of relevant. Um, Paladin medium heals need to be more viable. I hope this is the right post. Um, right, alright, so he did the, like, HP per mana spent for the, uh, the Paladin heal spells, so it's like, Ixura, for he him, heals 20 to 70, which is th 3.5, um, HP per mana, um, Ixura Gran is 70 to 147, which is 2.1, 
Xerasan is 160 to 299, which was 1.87. And then Grandson was 210 to 463, which was 2.2. So basically, flat Xera is the most effective use of mana for healing yourself, and then followed by the highest level spell. So he was saying, you know, the lower level one should be made a little bit more competitive, or the middle level ones, I should say, should be made a little bit more competitive. And like that, I thought was pretty interesting. Like that was a good, that was a good uh, comment. But yeah, I'm trying to find one of these ones that were just mind-bogglingly stupid. Um, and I just cannot find it right now. A lot of them are though just people asking for the the tibia coins to be removed, which you know just isn't going to happen ever. Get over yourselves, people. Tibia coins are the way of the future. Um. Come on. Where is it? <sighs> killing, killing me right now. And uh, yeah, I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing because I'm trying to look up the proposal board right now. <laughs> one dude wants to bring online training back. That's one of the ones I saw, which I thought was great. He wants to... <clears throat> Make it so that um, every consecutive attack against the like a specific monster, so like that specific mammoth, not all mammoth, just that mammoth that I just killed. Each additional strike against that one mammoth will have like a stacking boost. So like the first time you hit it, you gain one exp. The second time you hit it, you would gain like one plus one point five or something like that. So it would be a total of one point five. And then the second time you hit it would be two EXP. And then the third time you hit it would be two and a half. And then so on. Which is, I don't know, incredibly stupid to me. Because nobody wants to do online training. Nobody wants online training. Nobody who plays Tibia and is like, Oh man, I love the periods of time where I spend hours of my time sitting there striking a monster over and over again. Oh man, I just love not being productive. Um, the only people that would benefit from that would be, like, the free accounts who don't have access to offline training, which, I mean, like, to be fair, I don't, I could understand why they would want that. Um, but, like, that's counterproductive to, uh, Tibia's goal of trying to get people to become premium accounts, you know what I'm saying? So, that proposal I thought was mind-bogglingly stupid. And I don't, don't understand why people are like, oh my god, it was, like, nostalgic. I'm like, yeah, but it was nostalgic because it sucked. Like, nobody wanted that in the first place. Like, I, it confuses me about a lot of the things like that. I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyway, because I can't find the other one. There's just There was a whole bunch of, like, mind-bogglingly stupid proposals. Like, some people want the, uh, the fine person spell removed and stuff like that. I don't even know. All right. So, after reading that, I decided the problem is that, you know, the, like, Tibia Coins is, like, a political subject, almost, where everybody's got, like, really heated opinions on it, so it's just never gonna work. Uh, like, I'm not gonna be able to get a... I'm not gonna be able to propose anything involving Tibia Coins and get, like, meaningful interaction out of it, just because a lot of people just, like, inherently hate that idea. So... I did, however, and I'm going to put a link up to it, because, ha, I can. I did, there, yeah, there will be a link in the description to this video. I want you guys to know that. Totally should look at it. Do it. Do it now. Click on it now. I'll be still, the video will still be here later on. Did you do it? Good. Um, so, yeah, I had a proposal, I call it revamping the food, fishing, farming, cooking. So basically, my proposals, I've actually got like three proposals into it. And I'm just going to give them a quick like overview here because I'm all excited about my idea. I think it's a great idea. So basically, like the the issue I have with Tibia right now is um, all of the various foods are basically like the exact same thing, right? Like a ham isn't different than a meat except for that the ham weighs more and also regenerates your health for longer. Um, furthermore, with, like, Tibia, everybody being higher level, everything being way more aggressive, you're taking more damage, you're dealing more damage, you're drinking more potions. The, like, natural regeneration of, um, eating is, like, almost irrelevant. Um, 
like it's even worse for knights because like knights go through health so much worse than uh, <laughs> anything else, and the health regen is like utterly pointless. Um, so like I proposed an idea, and um, there's like the hot cuisine quest that's like a um, it's like a monthly thing I think. It was up during August if I remember correctly, where you can like take ingredients to this dude and he. Oh yeah, I forgot about these ladies. Anyway, you take, like, items to this dude and he makes you, like, better food or something like that. I don't really know. I don't work or care, for that matter. Uh, anything in the fur bag? Nope. Anyway, though. So, like, that quest, uh, gives you, like, food items where you basically, like, you eat the food and it does things like... <clears throat> fully restore your health or things like that. So, like... Tibia has the ability to make items uh, that do that. There's also, like, the Mastermind potions and Bullseye potions. Potions that have an effect that last, like, temporarily on your skills. So, And we also have equipment that increases your skills. Equipment that increases your skills. Bam. So, point is that, like, we know for a fact Tibia can have uh, temporary effects that increase your skills. We also know... Um, Items can, like, increase your, like, resistances to elements, give you weaknesses to elements. Um, fur boots are an item that gives you a negative to speed. So we know speed can be po positive and negative. Um, death ring, I think, lowers your shielding or something like that. I think that's how death ring works. Um, regardless, you know, there there is that. Um, there are antidote runes, and there's antidote um, potions, I think, that you can get on Rook Guard. So we can, you know, we can do that. Uh, so, like, and then, you know, like, life rings, rings of healing. There's also the star ring, which was available in Rook Guard. And soft boots uh, can affect your regeneration speed. So what, like, this means is that, like, these are all possibilities that already exist in Tibia. So my first proposal was to, uh, let me kill these badgers real quick. Ugh, man, I'm so laggy. Is my upload done? Oh, yeah, my upload's done. I think that little bit of lag that I'm having right now is my computer finishing, like, being like, oh, thank God, it's finally over. So, anyway, so my first proposal is to create, like, additional food items um, that have, like, various effects. So some of the suggestions I gave was, like, um, a food item that gives you, like, normal regeneration, but also when you first eat it heals, like, a certain amount of HP. Um, I suggested an item that gives you, like, normal health regen, but doubles your mana regen. I suggested an item that gives you normal regen, but boosts your mana level, magic level, sorry. Uh, food that cures, all of them, by the way, are just going to give you normal regen. So an item that cures bleeding, food that cures bleeding, but also restores, you know, regen. Uh, something that gives you mana shield for a short period of time, but also, you know, again, gives you regeneration. Um, gives you double regeneration, but comes with a negative in the form of, like, reduced speed. Or just in general, something that gives you double regen. Um, increases your melee skills, but decreases your shielding and your, um, distance skill. Uh, an item that, or a food that makes you drunk, but increases your speed by, like, 20 levels. Um, and then gives you two times regen for 45 seconds. So, like, you know, that would be, like, a item where you're drunk, but you go ultra fast. And, you know, you can negate the effects of it by wearing a Dwarven Ring. Um, another one that puts all of your spells on, like, exhaustion or cooldown so that you can't cast spells for five seconds, but uh, also, like, fully heals you uh, and then gives you regen for five seconds also or something like that. Something short. Um, another one that boosts all of your skills but reduces your regeneration rate by one half. And then another one, the final one I gave, because I thought this one was interesting, gives you, like, 15 resistance to ice and normal regeneration for 240 seconds, but it also lights you on fire for that full 240 seconds. Call that fire whiskey. Bam. So, anyway, so that, that was my first proposal, is, like, create all these things, um, and if you have all these, like, new foods, it brings in a new level of, like, what supplies you're going to bring into a hunt. Like, if there is a earth-resistant thing or something that makes you, like, or just something that makes you immune to poison. You could eat that before you go hunt things like, um, you know, ancient scarabs or something like that. You could take the one that makes you resistant to ice if you're going to go fight, like, frost dragons. Um, you could take the one, like, you would have to choose between one that gives you, like, 50% sp 
uh, faster regeneration or one that just gives you a flat like you know every time you eat it you get normal regeneration but it also um, yeah I didn't think you were gonna die it also gives you like maybe 50 mana back or something like that so it kind of gives a new level of like what you're actually bringing into a quest and I think that's like a pretty good idea um, <clears throat> cause like currently what is it like <clears throat> as a paladin I choose between what the best arrows I can bring or maybe assassin stars and um, a shield and that's like the the full grasp of my change of supplies I bring I bring mana pots always I bring any health potions that I have I bring great spirit potions in case of a disaster I bring a wall runes or like bomb runes if they're relevant and I bring the you know the best one that I can out of the three <clears throat> um, I might bring like life and health rings if I have them but like basically I bring the same exact things to every hunt um, mages have a little bit like more of a variety because they have different elemental runes and stuff like that but still they just take whatever is like obviously the correct choice fighting dragons Bring avalanche runes. Don't bring fireballs. Pretty simple. Um, or, I mean, icicle runes. I don't know. I'm not a very good mage, people. Uh, so, yeah, this gives you, like, some actual, like, options on what food you're going to bring. And because whatever the effect is that comes with it lasts um, for the whole duration of the, like, the normal regeneration, and there's a maximum amount of, like, time that you can have stocked up, <clears throat> You actually have to kind of like decide what it is that you're going to be eating and whatnot. Um, because like currently, I mean, what does everybody bring? Like maybe dragon hams, um, because they're like the most effective, or brown mushrooms. Basically, look, brown mushrooms right there. Silvius has them. Dal has them. Every character has brown mushrooms, except for free accounts. And even then, they would have brown mushrooms if they could. So that was my like first proposal, which is just to make additional effects. Now my second proposal, I have like two versions of it. My second proposal, I call them like proposal two and proposal two point five. Uh, proposal two works in tandem with proposal one. Proposal two point five is assuming that proposal one is ignored. So um, in proposal one is the or two, I'm sorry, is the actual like cooking aspect to it. So you would get, like, you know, meat or ham, raw ingredients, and then you would have to go, like, process them in some way. So this would involve, like, combining various ingredients or ingredients and other things with, like, you know, an oven or something along those lines. Um, like, similarly to how bread is currently made or cakes are currently made. Um, so, like, yeah. I know we can make bread and cakes, and I'm pretty sure there's... I know you can make rum. <laughs> I know there's a couple of other things I'm sure you can make. So anyway, the idea here is that you'd have to like make, you know, sandwiches, stews, curries, like cooked meats, whatever. Pasta, I don't even know. Make spaghetti and meatballs. Turkey sandwiches, stuffed turkey, who knows. <clears throat> so uh, basically the way this would work is that the like the processed ones would somehow provide a better effect than the raw ingredients. So you could do this like a couple different ways. Uh, the simplest way, I think, is just to make it so that um, any of the, like, food items that I've described so far that have really powerful effects would be ones that have to be cooked, and then ones that have weaker effects would be raw stuff. S simple. Uh, but I, I don't think that's, like, the best way to handle it. Um, the other option would be to have, like, you know, like, meat, for instance, restores 25 HP and also gives you regeneration for, I don't know, 100 seconds. Um, cooked meat would restore 75 HP and give you the same amount of regeneration. Um, an item, you could eat it and it would give you, like, maybe, I don't know, 5 speed as the raw one, but the cooked one would give you 10 speed, and so on. Uh, I think that's probably the better option. Um, but the other option I thought was interesting was to have the, uh, the raw food have, like, always come with drawbacks. So, like, the raw meat would be, you know, gain 100 HP <clears throat> um, and also get the normal regen, but the negative would be lose 50 mana. Or, like, the negative would be you get poisoned. 
and the cooked version would have like possibly better effects and also lose the negative. And I think that one's the most interesting because that kind of like sums up the essence of eating raw food. <laughs> Ooh, hey, look, a furry club. I will send that to Dal Dal. Sick. That's 1K. 1K. So yeah, I mean, like that's basically how that would work is just, you know, simply... Um, either way, though, I mean, it both works. Like, you know, for some of the examples I gave, like the one that gives you mana shield. Wait, hey, look, leveled up. I'm not really happy about that, but leveled up. Oh, I didn't had full mana. Ugh, and I'm all laggy and crap still. To be fair, this is kind of a bad time to be playing on, uh, I think, the server. Or maybe not. No, I don't know. This is an Olympa. I think the lag is actually on my end at this point, then. Kill the deer. Kill the deer. Kill the deer. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I think either the second or the third option. Uh, option two, or proposal 2.5 is just assuming that we don't invent any kind of new foods, in which case the cooked ones would just be the food items that give you more regeneration and way less. Um, so like ham gives you, I think I said, I actually have it here. Yeah, ham gives you uh, 360 seconds of regeneration and weighs 20 ounces. You would make ham sandwiches, which weigh like, you know, five ounces or something like that and give you the same amount of regeneration you do the same thing you know like meat gives you 180 seconds worth of uh regen and weighs 13 ounces cooked meat would weigh 13 ounces but give you 240 seconds so the cooked ones in this case would just be you know like better we wouldn't have all the other like fancy effects like i can see issues with like balancing with the fancy effects so like don't get me wrong i do understand why somebody would be against that so that's proposal 2.5 <laughs> And then Proposal uh, 3 um, requires either Proposal 2.5 or it requires uh, 1 and 2. Um, so Proposal 3 is to actually create a cooking skill. And one of the things I always thought was weird about Tibia is, like, um, for a game that doesn't have, like, you know, huge graphics or anything like that, and it's relatively simple, right? Like, there's not a whole lot of stuff involved in, like, character creation. Um... You know, like, I have over here on the side, you know, like, the DDO videos. And DDO has all of these various different items with, like, different, you know, you know, like, a belt that increases your strength or, a, you know, a belt that just increases your damage or a belt that makes you resistant to critical hits. You know, all these various things. You have all these different classes in Tibia with different spell. I'm sorry, in DDO. With different spells, with, you know special abilities and like power attack and you know the ability to trip enemies you've got a whole bunch of different stuff tibia is relatively like lacking on the content end which means like you know like nobody's sitting here expecting paladins to suddenly get new attacks or something like that nobody's expecting you know new spells or anything and when they do come out they're like big deals and stuff like that so Tibia is really like lacking on the on the content side and because the game's so simple and because the game doesn't have a lot of like character based content it seems like really easy for uh sip to like focus on other aspects of tibia which i always thought like i think there's been a lot of talk about like um alchemy systems for instance um and like i think an alchemy system would be a really good idea because like you know that that does kind of fulfill the like the big weakness of what tibia has which is the only things you can work on in tibia are like killing things you can train your skills so that you're better at killing things. You can kill things so that you reach a higher level, and then you can kill things. Um, you kill things to get more money so that you can buy better equipment to kill more things. There is nothing to do in Tibia besides effectively kill things. So, like, I feel like Tibia would be great for, like, a crafting system. The problem is, is that, like, you know, with Tibia's graphics as they are, any kind of, like, you know, like sculpting or painting or something like that kind of skill <coughs> like there couldn't be a purely cosmetic skill in other words because like tibia just doesn't really allow for that um the the equipment in tibia is too like simple and too like relatively weak um that i couldn't imagine there would ever be like equipment crafting um uh, just because like the 
you know, like, knight armor's armor 12, crown armor's armor 13, and that's the only difference between the two of them. Like, I can't imagine there would ever be crafting, uh, because it would be, like, way too absurdly powerful or utterly pointless in the long run. Like, maybe you could craft your own crown armor that weighs, like, point or two ounces less or something like that. It just seems, like, largely irrelevant. <clears throat> so, like, I don't see crafting ever being a viable option for Tibia. It'd be really cool if that guy would die. Thank you. Um, but, like, most RPGs and most, pretty much all MMORPGs have, like, various skills that aren't combat-related that people can, like, focus on. And Tibia does have fishing and fist fighting, although fist fighting is, again, like a combat-oriented skill, but still. Um, like, and players love focusing on these, like, miscellaneous tasks. Because they're just one more thing that you can be really good at, or, like, hope to be the best at. Um, plus, I mean, like, look at Skyrim, for instance. I use that as, like, a baseline for a lot of stuff, but, like, Skyrim has alchemy, enchanting, and, like, uh, the blacksmithing. And literally... Everybody did at least one of them. Um, I mean, to be fair, like, to do your own blacksmithing and um, enchanting gave you, like, by far the best equipment in the game. So, I mean, part of it was, like, a necessity issue. But still. Like, generally speaking, people are like, oh, cool, I can make my own stuff. That's awesome. Um, so, like, I think a cooking skill would kind of... is, like, one of the better options for Tibia to finally get around to, like, introducing that effect. Um, at least I think. So my idea with the... Uh, God, I'm running out of inventory. My idea with the way cooking would work then is... Um, actually, I had like a couple of different ways on how it could work. Um, but like, I think the uh, they, there would be a, like a skill called cooking. And it would be like fishing, uh, where it's not based off of your vocation, obviously. Um... So, like, in the simplest form, it would just be, like, if you wanted to cook a meal, you would that meal would have, like, a minimum cooking level. Uh, I'm, I'm a hundred, not 100% certain this is how it worked, but I'm pretty sure how this is how it used to work. I'm pretty sure that originally spells in Tibia worked, you just needed the minimum magic level plus the minimum amount of mana. So, like, as long as you had the mana, you could be any level and cast, you know, any spell, assuming, again, you had the magic level. Um, it wasn't level based like it is currently. So the idea is with like the cooking skill, it would be, you know, cooking skill based. If you wanted to cook, I don't know, scrambled eggs, you would need a cooking skill of like 20. And if you didn't have the cooking skill of 20, you wouldn't be able to make scrambled eggs. Um, so this kind of brings the whole like mana sitting thing back where like people could still be productive while not hunting. Cause like, I do understand why people would want to do that. So you could be, like, working on your cooking skill while, you know, like, just kind of casually talking to your friends and stuff like that. And you could still make money through the cooking skill, in that sense, because you would, you know, sell the stuff if you needed to. Um, and, you know, it helps because, like, you could still work on your cooking skill if the game's really laggy or if you only have maybe, like, ten minutes to play, which isn't enough time for you to, like, you know, get to the muggy planes and whatever. See, like, I'm kind of laggy right now. I could be working on my cooking. Um, the other way, though, that I think I enjoy a little bit more is, um, like, take the, um, scrambled eggs, for instance. I said, like, you need cooking level 20 to be able to make scrambled eggs, right? Oh, look, another one. Let me get these. Bah. So, yeah, you need level, uh, cooking level 20 to make the scrambled eggs. Well, let's say in this form... Uh, you can attempt to make scrambled eggs if your cooking is at least 10, but there's a chance that you fail, and if you fail, you can either, like, waste the ingredients and end up with nothing, or you can end up with, like, low-quality scrambled eggs, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and the low-quality scrambled eggs would be, um, you know, they'd have, like, half the effect or something like that. And then, uh, again, assuming that the minimum, or the base level in this case is 20, if you have 30 cooking, you could make, like, high-quality master uh, scrambled eggs. Um, and then high-quality ones would be, like, 50% more effective or something like that. So that gives, like, characters who actually have a really high level in cooking, like, an actual tangible benefit besides just making stuff. So, yeah. That was my whole proposal. 
If you think it's utter crap, comment and tell me why. Uh, if you think it's utter crap, comment in the uh, the video comments and tell me why. Uh, but if you think it's a great, amazing idea, you should totally click the link that I'm going to have down there <clears throat> uh, in the description of the video. And then you should comment actually on the forum post and sign it. Yeah, do it. Anyway, that was that. And now I'm all tuckered out. I got nothing to talk about. Actually, on that note, I do want to see how many more of these I have to kill. I've been healed. And you're dead. I'm actually going to have to head back to deposit. Crazy. Sooner or later, I think uh, Leaf is going to need to invest in some like better back package. Because, I mean, what am I currently got? One backpack with all of my stuff in it, plus uh, a bag for additional storage. Maybe I'll do that now. No, because I'm still saving up to get my blessing, and I'm also saving up to get a mount. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think I can... I mean, I can get a normal backpack for sure. But I don't want to get a fancy backpack. I was considering getting a jeweled backpack. You're dead. You're not dead. You're still not dead. Alright. Let's kill this other badger. Let's kill this badger. Alright. Now then, I want to check what my uh, my tasking numbers are at this point. 171, 167. I gotta go back now anyway, though. So let's just head back. Um... I don't know what to do right now. I want to go up here all the way, I guess, because I do have a little bit of uh, carrying capacity left. And then I guess I'll go back, um, buy like a cheap backpack or something. I'll check the price of a couple of the mounts, I suppose. See what I'm looking into there. I think I saw I had 18K before I put the um, the time ring up on the market. So we'll see. we'll check our current situation there. Hee <laughs> hee, you're dead. Do do. I don't think there's anything else up here. Just yeah, just things that run away. I will buy a uh, like a normal fur backpack, I suppose. We'll use that. Nothing fancy. Unless the jewel backpacks are really cheap, because they do provide what I think they are twenty-two item slots, and uh, they weigh seventeen ounces versus twenty and eighteen, so. There are like a pretty solid choice. I remember when Sylvius bought his first one. I was up in Svargrand. I don't remember what exactly it was that I was hunting. I don't remember if it was badgers and whatnot. Or if I was like on to crystal spiders, or if I was past crystal spiders and on to Korra scouts. Thank you for dying. How about you? Can you die? Thank you for dying. By the way, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm just not caring about the uh, winter bears thing. I didn't look it up. I don't know how it works. I don't know anything about it, and I'm just not bothering. Oh, look how slow I am. Look how slow I am. This is why I hate Svargron, by the way. So slow. So slow. Do do. All right. Um, depot up here. Do 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 do. Got to deposit all this crap too, actually. Um. All right. How much is a jeweled backpack gonna set me back? Oh, look at that. Twenty k. <laughs> look at that jeweled backpack. Are you kidding me? 10k? I mean, still, that's a red offer, but still. Oh my god. Just on a side note, I, like, you know, I knew <laughs> I knew Jew would get me to Joel's backpack. I didn't actually mean to write Jew. That's whatever. Um, god, that's a lot. What is that, by the way? A basket. Puppies, I guess. Alright, well, I guess I'm not buying a Jewel backpack in ever. 10k? Are you insane? <sighs> I 
This game. <laughs> this game. All right. Let's go put all that in there. Um, my offers. The time ring's still up there. I want to see how much a furry club's going to run me. Furry club. All right. All right. I'm just going to mail that to Dow Dow. Uh, because I don't want to waste my time doing it now. I'll do it later. But Dow Dow will transfer over 100 gold to Leaf. Um, I'm sorry, 1,000 gold. So Dow Dow is going to transfer over 1,000 gold to Leaf. Um, and then when I get like a couple of different items to send to Dow Dow for Rashid, I will do so. Um, on that note, though, people, you should totally just do the, um, the Rashid quest. I'm just not doing it because I don't want to buy a deer trophy right now. How much is a deer trophy going to cost me? Eh, they're not terrible priced, actually. Um. Maybe I should do the, the thing. Well, I have until Monday to decide, because that's the way the day it starts. Anyway, so I'm going to buy my own backpack at this point. For sure. Um. I want to, actually, before I get out, I want to check the, um. Apples? Bag of apples? Bag of apples. Wait, I already have a bag of apple slices? I already have a bag of apple slices. Fancy that. Right. Okay, I, re I do remember putting that offer in now that I think about it. All right. Well, you know what? Let's go to, uh, let's go to face. To face and beyond. And then I'll end my video here. Um, hopefully I get really lucky with this. I hope. I really hope. I'm not super excited about riding a donkey, but whatever. Oh, stay up though. I'm tired. So, so tired. Alright, well that's cool. Um, then I guess the next option is to get a blessing. Or not blessings. I already have the blessings. Um, get my promotion. Hi. You want to spell hi correctly. Face. Yes. You think I'm going to do it? You think I'm going to get it lucky? I feel like there's a good chance I'm not going to get lucky. I feel it. I feel it in the depths of my very being. I'm not going to get lucky. Also, while I'm in face, is there any kind of quest that I could do in face or something? Maybe in the next video? Um... Here, wait, while I'm auto-walking, let me, uh, pull up. Alright, I guess I'll just use my other computer. Uh, Tibia Wiki. <sighs> Tibia Wiki. I'm checking to see uh, what the level is for the Enchanted Spear spell. I think it's 42. Um, enchant Spear. There we go. Uh, when I get that spell, um, I will then do like the Postman and a couple of other quests. Level 45, okay. Yeah, so when I get that spell, I'll do the Postman and probably like Paradox Tower. Um... Yay. Not the Congra. Not the bug. <laughs> Not the chicken. Not the dog. Not the skunk. <laughs> Not the chicken. <laughs> Donkey. Good. I failed. <laughs> I have failed. Well then, I'll stop by and face, put another offer in, and then be sad. <sighs> I will be sad. I remember, um, Hardeck was like the only NPC that purchased, um, hatchets and a couple of other things, I think. So I'd loot bag, you know, like rotworms and stuff like that, and I'd have to bring all of my hatchets down to Hardeck. It was, uh, like, skeletons would drop those, I think. I wonder how long this, uh, creature illusion's gonna last.
How long am I going to stay as a Kangra? <sighs> anyway, yeah, point is, I'll get the um, Enchanted Spear spell and then do all of my very long, boring walk quests. I'll do Paradox Tower and I will do the um, <sighs> Postman quest. Um, there may or may not be another quest that I'm not remembering right now that I would also do, but while I'm doing those quests, I'll be making the Enchanted Spears. And then after I have a decent amount of them, I think I'll be good. Um, around level 50, I'll switch over to a Composite Hornbow and start using uh, Onyx Arrows, but until then, I'll continue using um, Enchanted Spears. Alrighty. So folks, we are